Welcome back to another episode of Project Rescue. I'm Jana Axline. Today I want to talk about how the size of an organization's portfolio can impact project success and project recovery. Companies are faced with the need to constantly be evolving and improving in order to effectively respond to the market. I'm sure you have seen what this means. A long list of projects the company wants to complete in order to stay competitive, improve profitability, or respond to regulations. When I joined the board of the PMI Mile High Chapter, there was a list of 20 great projects we wanted to do to improve the value we were delivering to our customers and ensure we were staying relevant. The team tried to take on all 20 projects. At the end of the year, how many were delivered? None. Companies must reduce the number of in-process projects. Do less to do more. Too many projects result in a divided focus. Leaders are spread thin and can't provide the necessary support to each project in their portfolio. Projects need access to leadership to overcome issues that arise. Multiple teams vie for the leader's attention, as evidenced by calendars full of meetings and the project not being able to get key decision makers together timely. It also can be seen in deliverable reviews and sign-offs being delayed, or deliverables never being officially approved or leaders multitasking while attending project meetings. Jim Collins mentions in Good to Great, if you have more than three priorities, you don't have any. This can be scaled to the organization level. If a department or company has more than three priorities, nothing is truly a priority because the proper focus cannot be given to it. Too many projects result in an overworked team. I have yet to work with a company that doesn't have a capacity issue. Teams are always asked to do more with less without be being given an environment that will enable them to do so. Project teams are often spread thin and don't have the necessary time to focus on each proje project. Project team members are often overbooked in meetings and can't even get to project deliverables until after the wor standard workday ends. Or they work on deliverables while half listening to project calls resulting in a risk in quality. From a quantitative perspective, an over-allocated team increases risk and increases project duration and eventually cost. From a qualitative perspective, it re results in reduced customer satisfaction because the project isn't delivering the outcomes that are expected when they are expected and reduced morale of an overworked team. Too many projects result in extended project timelines. If the project team is anything less than 100% allocated to the project, then the project will be slower than it could be. If resources are 100% dedicated, they can work on project tasks without interruption and be available precisely when the project needs them. Having the entire project team 100% dedicated is not always possible, but the concept is applicable. The objective is to keep projects minimized so project team members can be available exactly when the project needs them in order to reduce wait time, reduce unnecessary handoffs, and reduce partially work done that is not delivering any value, all of which culminates into waste. Too many projects results in increased risk. The more in-flight projects, the more risk. First, it puts quality at risk. If there are many projects in flight, there is a divided focus. This division can result in poor decision making because the proper amount of time is not being put into making a quality decision. Quality can also be compromised due to resources moving between projects and therefore rushing to get things done and possibly taking shortcuts or forgetting where they left off and missing important details. There is also a risk that the solution the project is delivering will be obsolete or will be delivering at a lower project ROI. This is because the business landscape is always changing and if solutions are being delivered a year after the business need was identified, the market opportunity may be missed or the market may have shifted enough that the solution is no longer able to capitalize on the opportunity to achieve the company's IRR. Manage, managing the project portfolio is important in order to support project success. If an organization has a right-sized portfolio, it will likely reduce the number of projects that ever get off track. And if a project does get off track, the leaders and resources will have the availability necessary to support the project to get it back on track. This isn't possible if an organization is taking on too many projects simultaneously. 
Right-sizing portfolios can be challenging and deserves a discussion of its own. But start with ensuring the organization is delivering no more than three enterprise-wide projects at once. After allocating those resources, if a department or team still has capacity, they can look to deliver their own department or team-specific projects, again, limiting it to three. Starting here will often bring up questions around ancillary project team members, like ones with highly specialized skills, and under-allocated resources. We will discuss these in the future. I hope this helps you see how the number of projects in flight can impact the success of one project.